I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. <coughs> so Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person, we've got the hangman and it's with the seven of swords. Now the hangman, it shows that you could be at a crossroads. The type of crossroads with two options. In or out, up or down, yes or no. So you could find yourself wanting to do something, but you have no idea what it is or how to do it. Now, if this happens, it could be a sign that you need to stop, <coughs> relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations, a person, people, or things. Because it's possible that there's an outdated attitude or a wish that you need to let go of. Because any sacrifice that you make, it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what, you go, than what you're like letting go of. <clears throat> Overall, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time. Especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests. By being willing to change. Now, it's with the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. If you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life. Unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern then you just might want to rethink the impulse because we all know everyone deserves privacy. So basically, hangman clarified by the Seven of Swords, recent past energy. For you and your person, the message that I'm getting is that you you were confused about someone. Hangman can be about confused, not sure what to do, not sure what to say, yes or no. In or out, up or down. <clears throat> it could also mean that you needed to let go of maybe an outdated attitude or a wish. Or let go of a vision of a particular kind of a relationship as being the only way you can be happy. Yeah, something you need to let go of. Because it left you, because you were confused. Because you, if you let it go, then you would no, no longer be confused. But you were trying to figure it out. Yes, no. Should I stay? Should I go? Because you have somebody here. The Seven of Swords. Somebody, your person was interested in you. They did a lot of watching you. Yeah. Now, for some of you, you could have been dealing with someone you felt like was playing mind games, being manipulative, using strategy and tactics. That's what the Seven of Swords can be about also. Seven of Swords is the card below the word pass. So for some of you, you had someone that was playing games with you. And, um... I'm getting that they were interested in you, but the, that was their, that was their, <coughs> that was their approach. Yeah, maybe that's the only way they knew how to, to get people interested in them, was by playing games or, or they went by some silly dating game book on how to, 
approach women or men that you're interested in. Anyway, the Seven of Swords is that, is that sneaky card. So they could have stalked you or someone was, or your person was playing some type of manipulative st strategic game with you. And it caused a problem because it left you confused. Yeah, you could have been the type that, you could be the type that just like, that prefers a, sorry, my allergies are really acting up, so you're going to have to bear with me with this reading, because it's not going to be easy to get through this reading, but I'm going to try. Okay, so, yeah, this person. Um, because of their approach, it left you really, really confused. Anyway, that's what the hangman is there for. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Okay, so we got the Nine of Cups. And we the Nine of, Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting and, and pleasant cards. To receive in a reading, it's known as the Wish Card. It can mean that what you're hoping for, what you're dreaming about, is most likely to be yours in a brief period of time. So, the appearance of this card is about happiness and good things to come. It also can mean that what you want is likely to come into being in your life. And if you're asking a yes or no type of question, Well, this is the most powerful indicator of yes. Okay, so it's with the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles, the card below the word present. The Knight of Pentacles is really good energy. It's about stability. It's about, it's about loyalty. Um, Knight of Pentacles is a very good energy. It's very practical. It's about commitment, um, stability. Yeah, this is a really good energy. This type of person can be your knight in shining armor. So coming up, Capricorn, Nine of Cups, clarified by this Knight of Pentacles. So. Capricorn, you've got someone that's interested in you, but they're going about it in a very immature, well, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to say immature. They're going about it in a sneaky, manipulative way with the Seven of Swords. I can't take my eyes off of what this person is doing in, in the picture of the Seven of Swords. Yeah, and it's leaving you in your head. This person sees you as their wish come true. They've got very, they got very strong desire for you. They would feel blessed and satisfied to have you. That's what the Nine of Cups indicates. This person, whether you know it or not, they want something solid with you. Commitment. Um, they want to make this a very stable connection. They're just going about it all the wrong way. The Seven of Swords is... Yeah, this person could be using tactics. Being too strategic. And it's just, it's just leaving you in the head. It's saying you don't know what to do. You're not sure what to do about it. Because when people play games... It can confuse the other person, so I don't know why people play games. Yeah, because it, it, if they're serious, why are you playing a game? It can mess the whole thing up. But I'm getting that that's just, that's always been their approach. And maybe it's worked for them before. But anyway, this person wants something serious with you. And you would know it, though, because... You just feel like they're playing a game. Or they're doing things that you don't understand. 
Do you see you as their wish come true? This person has a very strong desire for you, Capricorn. Okay, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, we got the Three of Pentacles and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, this Three of Pentacles, it's a positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work, career, family, romance. It's a good overall card in the deck. It means that you're doing well. Yeah, this Three of Pentacles, it tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, and they notice the quality of what you do, even if you're not getting paid. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement, but when you get the Three of Pentacles, you will not have to scrap something and then start again. You will not. Now it's with the Ten of Swords, which is a signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When the ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, I trust that a situation is stable. Well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. If you can see the ten of swords, it's the card below the word challenge. Yeah, he's got all these swords stabbed in his back. However, keep in mind, whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation better for you. So just trust yourself and trust the universe. So your challenge, Capricorn, Three of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords is clarified. <coughs> it's clarified by the Ten of Swords. So, like I said, your person, they do want something serious with you, but you could be having a hard time believing it by the games that they're playing. With the Three of Pentacles showing up for the challenge, yeah, you're like, you need them to prove it to you. Because if you look at the picture of the Three of Pentacles, you see this man is showing these two people that are at his feet what he's doing. And they're impressed. They're like, wow. So you need this person to impress you. Yeah, because, of what, like I said, the way they're going about it, it's just leaving you confused. And you're not impressed at all. As a matter of fact, not only are you not impressed, but you're with a Ten of Swords showing up here. You're feeling that the connection is not going, you, you're trusting that it will not be stable. Yeah, that's all your that's the challenge. You're not impressed. You need them to impress you with something other than mind games, manipulation, strategy, tactics. Because the way they're going about it is making you feel like the Ten of Swords. You don't trust that the connection would be stable. So you need them to pull some other tricks out of their bag. Or just come correct. Yeah, and that's not what they're doing, at least not right now. Maybe in February. Let's see, we'll find out, okay? But let's see what, what the outcome is for coming up this week, weekend. Remember, time is fluid, so this could be happening now, or it could go into late January. But your outcome, it's indicating Ten of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so Ten of Cups is actually one of the most uplifting cards you can receive. It points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Either way, well, yeah, it's a good card. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. It speaks of happy family life to the overall 
well-being that goes beyond you, yourself, to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, siblings, children, your pets, much more. Also, you could be spiritually fulfilled when you get the Ten of Cups. Great card to see regardless of any question. Now, it's with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, this card can indicate that you could be spending money, time, energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good thing, provided you, don't, provided you don't take on too much debt, because people could be looking to you for insight, maybe advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is also a time period. When you can get a whole lot accomplished. Yeah, so Capricorn, your outcome, Ten of Cups clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, this Ten of Swords is saying that, um, like I said, you don't trust that the connection is going to be stable. You don't think that you could have anything stable with this person. They're the Seven of Swords, and that's where they stand for now. Things could change. People can change. It's left you confused, but it looks like the outcome is making you realize you just need to fall back. Queen of Pentacles, that's my fallback card. I'm falling back. I'm taking comfort and joy in the ordinary things. I'm going towards people or things that... I know have my best interests, and you don't have to do anything to get it. Like the Queen of Pentacles is a card below the word outcome. She's sitting in her backyard. She's in a lounge chair. She's enjoying the weather. She's got her dog at her feet, keeping her toes warm. She's feeding the birds and the squirrels that come by. And that are just so happy to see her. She's smiling and cuddling a huge pinnacle. She, so she's taking comfort and pride that she's got some money in the bank. Because when you hear the, hear the word pinnacles in the tarot, that can be money, cash, coins, finance, income. So yeah, you're deciding to fall back. You, you're, you're feeling like it's not even this person... Playing games like this is not even worth you being confused about. So, you're taking comfort in the ordinary things. And it looks like you're going to wait for your Ten of Cups. Because you realize that this, you want, it's time for you to have your Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're falling back until you, your Ten of Cups comes. And you feel like this person is not it. So that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended on this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you? In the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So Capricorn, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be your person or your person could be you. The roles can be switched. Yes, they can. So just take the reading for however it resonates. 
because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So Capricorn, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I'm wishing all of you Happy New Year's. Like I said, I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care.